Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. I'm so fortunate to be able to spend time with you and spend the day with my mom. And I'm really excited about that because I rarely get a chance to cook in the kitchen with you. So today, we're going to make a sandwich. All right. So actually, you know what? Um, because it's Mother's Day, I'm going to have you help me. How's that? Yeah, sounds good to me. So if you could just chop that for me. All I'm doing is some nice, just you know, nothing too thick, but just chopping maybe about that big. And uh, we'll get some of those. And uh, sandwiches. Huh? I know we don't eat a lot of meat at my house, and, uh, but growing up we ate quite a bit of meat, didn't we? Yes, all the time, at every meal. Every meal, um, it was a meat and potatoes kind of household, and uh, we're scrapping meat today. This is going to be a really good vegetarian sandwich. Actually, the more, uh, the more we age and the older you get, I think, and the older I get, I think we're just kind of uh, not doing a whole lot of uh, meat anymore, right? You don't like meat. <laughs> you just don't like it. Yeah, I just don't like it. <laughs> okay. Well, I just sliced up some really nice whole grain bread. We're going to keep that off to the side there for a second because um, I'm going to make a uh, really, really good, very, very simple filling. Um, so I want to get this. this uh, not, not that I'm pushing you out of the way or anything, but I'm going to get this, this oil over here. And I'm going to get that on a high heat. And I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil some really good extra virgin olive oil. I use cold pressed olive oil. Um, you cook with olive oil all the time. That's pretty much all you use. All the time, yeah. So, very nice. We're going to just put some olive oil in there. And then, um, in just a second here, why don't you take those apart so that they're not there like that. Um, and then we can get those in the oil in just a second. And then I'm going to take a red pepper. Um, I like red roasted peppers. I like red saute peppers, basically anything, anything with a red Maybe pepper. Anything red. Anything red. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Here we are with the uh, red shirts and, uh, and all for Mother's Day. Are you having a nice Mother's Day? I'm um, having a great Mother's Day. Thank you, son. Well, I guess I can uh, kind of rub it in my brother and sister there. That they're not with mom today. I guess I get, I get you all to myself. So my brother is in Phoenix, Arizona. It's up in that area with uh, his wife and two kids um, and a dog. And uh, my sister lives uh, down in New Mexico with her husband and their their kids. And so um, I got mom here in California and we are um, doing well. So you got that that onion working? You think that, that oil's warm enough? Drop some in there. Um, why don't you put your hand over it? Yeah, go ahead and let's get those onions in there. Just get them in there kind of soft so that you don't get any of that oil all over the place. And now I'm using just one medium sized uh, red roasted pepper, or red pepper, I'm sorry. I didn't roast it this time. You can just put them all in. It's always funny, I always. Every time we cook together, I always think, gosh, when I was a kid, you kind of taught me how to cook, and now as an adult, I'm kind well, of teaching you how to cook. me how to cook. <laughs> I love it, don't you? Yes, I do. I think it's fun. And we're going to put the red peppers in there. And while you do that, I'm going to grab some salt. I use a uh, pink Himalayan salt. I think it's really good. We got our whole grain bread sliced. We've got some red peppers, some onions. Um, you can use white onion, you can use yellow onion. I like white for this dish because it gives it a little bit more of a kick. Yellow onion tends to be a little bit uh, sweeter. And so, how does it smell in this kitchen? No, it's ah, I love it. Really I good. absolutely love it. So we got some, uh, just let me cover one more time. Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, some peppers, some onions. Uh, we're going to make this sandwich on some really nice whole grain bread. And then I just took out some cream cheese from the uh, refrigerator and we got that softened up. Left it out maybe about 30 minutes or 40 minutes and it just got nice and soft. And um, because I do tend to eat a little bit more food that's uh, on the healthier side, it is low fat cream cheese. Uh, and, and to be honest, you're not even going to be able to tell the difference. You're not going to be able to tell the difference between full fat and uh, low fat cream cheese. It's going to taste just as good. How are those looking? Good. All right. 
Now I need to get my balls on the vinegar. Oh. We probably have to cut that out. So balsamic vinegar, uh, we actually use balsamic vinegar quite a bit at my house. And so once we have this sauteed, can I borrow that from you? Just for a second. Hang on, let me ask the camera guy. How does it smell out there? <laughs> wow! Delicious! I love it, I love it, I love it. It actually really does smell pretty good. So now to that, and we're still on a high heat, uh, to that I'm going to add just about two tablespoons of a really good balsamic vinegar. And the balsamic vinegar is going to pick it up a little bit, it's going to tighten up and it's going to get very, very sweet. Um, I'm also on a pretty low sugar diet, I know you do a, a low sugar diet as well, but um, it is going to get sweet so you don't need a lot, a little goes a long way. And while that's finishing up, I'm going to just take this and you want to help me spread some cream cheese? I'll let you do it with that. And we just want to just do a little light cream cheese on there. Nothing too, nothing too heavy. And I have really found that, you know, using a lot of vegetables, um, you know, instead of meat, I know we, we got rid of meat probably five years ago in my house, but using more, um, more vegetables has really brought out flavors. You can add stuff to it like herbs, you can add stuff to it like spices, and really bring out more of the flavors in the food versus always having to have meat for every meal. So I like not having meat. And once we have about four pieces there, let me help you, Mom. My mom doesn't always make it as pretty as I like to make it. She's the pretty one in the kitchen. And so, just like that. Like that. And I even think we got a, a, a pink towel for you just for Mother's Day. <laughs> Mother's Day, huh? All right, so that looks like it's about done. Yeah, we got it nice and caramelized. I'm just going to take a little bit of that mixture there. And I'm going to get it down on our bread. And you'll have some left over, I'm sure. Can you turn off that heat for me? And flip that on. If you want to add some greens, you can add some greens to that. Uh, in my case today, I'm going to add no greens. I'm going to put it on a nice, nice wood block. And before we do that, we got to taste this. Are you excited to try it? Oh yeah! Thank you. And that's what I will say. That's what I will call a happy, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. So good. Those peppers are just nicely mm -hmm. caramelized, the onion is caramelized, and that balsamic vinegar just mm -hmm. adds a depth. Yeah. So it's great. Thank one you last so thing. much, son. Flowers from Mom. Oh, thank you, son. I, I hope you have you. a great Mother's Day. Thank you. I will. Love you. For this and more recipes, you can visit my website at www.jacobbustos.com or portionyourplate.com and uh, follow me on Instagram. Have a great day.